channel. Hope you're all doing well out there. And now with Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 out into the world, we have seven films in the Mission Impossible franchise, and we're going to rank them right now. To start off, we're going to hit with number seven. We're going to go with Mission Impossible 2 from 2000, directed by John Woo. Um, I'll say this. I The action in this film is really well handled. It's definitely a John Woo action film. It feels less like a Mission Impossible film. I will say that. I still enjoy it. I can watch it. But it's definitely the lesser of the franchise considering the franchise itself. A standalone action film, it's it's good. But it definitely feels the least like a Mission Impossible film. And it's definitely the anomaly in the whole franchise. But I still enjoy it. I enjoy them all to a certain extent. But at, at the end of the day, this is my least favorite at Mission Impossible 2 at number 7. At number 6, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol from 2011. Um, I like this film. I like them all. And this is definitely better than Mission Impossible 2. But I always felt like the main bad guy, Hendrix, was kind of generic. Uh, I like Jeremy Renner's Brant coming in here. Paula Patton, Simon Pegg getting uh, more of a role here. I do enjoy all them together. I think they make a great team. But uh, yeah, I still like this movie. It's, but for me, it comes at number six. So at number six, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. At number five, the first Mission Impossible film I got to, I got to see in the theaters, and that's Mission Impossible 3 from 2006. I was in Maine on vacation, and me and my, well, we weren't married yet, but me and my wife went to see it. Um, I love Phil, Philip Seymour Hoffman. J.J. Abrams directed this one. I love Philip Seymour Hoffman as Owen Davian. I think he makes a really great bad guy here. Uh, Michelle Monaghan playing Julia. Ethan's, you know, well, wife throughout, the, they get married during the film. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne showing up that we get to see Benji for the first time, Simon Pegg's character. I like the team, Maggie Q and all that. I like Mission Impossible 3. I really do. And it's, it's one I, well, I got to see it in the theater, so I have nostalgia for it. But I really like it at number five, Mission Impossible 3. At number four, the original Mission Impossible from 1996. I just rewatched this last week, and it holds up extremely well. Um, similar to CGI does not, but we can forgive that. It's from 96, so... It's okay. It's a little dated in that respect, the CGI. But the story overall, very intriguing. I love the story. I love the twists and the turns and the backstabbings. John Voight's here is the main bad guy. We have Kittredge here, who comes back in Dead Reckoning Part 1. Um, uh, Tom Cruise giving a great performance. I love the score. Brian De Palma does a good job with the directing. Always liked this film and still do. It's very solid. So at number four, the original Mission Impossible. At number three... Mission Impossible Fallout from 2018. Um, action scene, this is a really, really great action movie. The action scenes are really well done. Henry Cavill coming in as Walker and playing the main bad guy along with Solomon Lane. Phenomenal. The fight scenes and that the bathroom fight scenes, great. Um, I I really like this film. I just rewatched it a couple months ago on, on 4K. Bringing Michelle Monaghan back as Julia at the end was a stroke of genius. I love how Solomon Lane and the syndicate and Walker planned it all out for Julia to be there for this nuclear explosion to give Ethan even something else to worry about. <clears throat> Angela Bassett, I mean, it's a great cast. I love M Mission Impossible Fallout, but it, it comes in at number three for me. So at number three, Mission Impossible Fallout. At number two, our brand new one, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Now, can this change over time? Yeah, I've only seen it once. I'm going to go see it again. I'll buy it on 4K when it comes out. But I really, really enjoyed and loved Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Um, Heli Atwell was a great addition to the to the cast here. Kittredge coming back. Pom Clementif. I love her character, even though she doesn't get a lot to say. There's a lot to like here. The action is spectacular. I think the action's even better than it was in Fallout, if you can believe that. At least in my opinion. But again, i got to see it again. But right now... At number two, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. At number one, I just rewatched this last week as well, and this is still my favorite, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation from 2015. The first film, Chris McQuarrie came in to write and direct. I really like this film. Um, watching again just enforce that. I love the story. I love Solomon Lane as the bad guy. Sean, uh, Sean Harris is great as the main bad guy in the syndicate, this anti-IMF. I, I just, I love the addition of Rebecca Ferguson as Elsa. 
Um, Renner's back and he has a big role and Simon Pegg and Ving Rhames. Everybody's great here. I just really like this film. It really, it's one of those films that in a series that I just, I really do enjoy a lot. Not that I don't enjoy them all, but I enjoy this one just a little bit more. Love that spectacular stunt being in the film with Tom Cruise hanging off the side of the airplane. Just great stuff. Great storyline. I love the syndicate as our main bad guy. So at number one, and this probably surprised some people, but M Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Quick recap here. At number seven, Mission Impossible Part 2. At number six, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Number five, Mission Impossible 3. At four, the original Mission Impossible. And number three, Mission Impossible Fallout. And number two, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. And at number one, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Now, do me a favor. Leave your ranking down below in the comments. Let me know what your favorite is. Or rank all seven. Go for it. Let me know what they are. There's no wrong answers here. Different films will hit somebody differently. So there's no wrong answers, but you still might think I'm on crack. You can let me know that down below as well. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Share this video. I would appreciate that. I'll be back soon with an out-of-the-theater reaction for Oppenheimer. But until then, bye.